One of the world's largest offshore wind farms is to be built between Jewersland and the island of Anholt. With a capacity of 400 megawatts, it would be twice the size of the largest wind farms in Denmark. Connecting an offshore wind farm to the power system is a very extensive task. Yes, I am. Fint. I dag skal vi se på nogle af de udfordringer der er, når vi skal krydse Djursland med kabel som kommer fra. It involves a lot of authorities, organizations and also the general public. Der er to muligheder. Enten skal vi igennem skoven, eller også så skal vi syd om skoven. Usually it takes five years to plan, construct and connect the offshore wind farm to the existing power system. The offshore wind farm will then supply Danes with wind power for at least 25 years. Before getting started on installing the offshore wind turbines and the system that transmits the power ashore, a wide range of technical, financial and environmental investigations have to be made. This includes collecting a large amount of data on wind conditions, seabed, waves, landscape, flora and fauna. Then follows a great deal of work analyzing the data and adapting the project to the existing conditions. In addition, surveys are made of seabed and soil conditions, buildings, archaeology and cultural history. The authorities have to critically assess the investigations to make sure the project can be properly executed. Then it's time to involve the general public. I would like to welcome to the board meeting on the construction of Anholt Havvindmølle Park. Public consultations on the project are held in order to give neighbours, citizens, environmental organisations, and other interested parties a chance to influence the project. And why is it so that the cable is precisely in the Grenland? There could have been many other places along the coast. What we saw south of Jutland was that there are some natural areas out in the sea that make it possible to build a house. But it's also possible to build a house. But it's also possible to build a house. But it's also possible to build a house. Det er selvfølgelig muligt at bygge anlæg, man kan søge om dispensation til at lægge kabel. Men det vil være meget, meget vanskeligt at komme bagefter og reparere det, hvis det er stykker. Based on the investigations and comments from the public hearings, the Environmental and Regional Planning Committee decides whether or not to approve the project. At the same time, through open tendering, a company has to be found to build and operate the offshore wind farm. Furthermore, a transformer platform has to be built offshore to collect the power from the wind turbines. A cable substation will be constructed on the coast, where the submarine cable and the land cable will be connected. The land cable transmits the power to the existing power system via a high voltage substation. It's usually a large energy company that constructs and operates an offshore wind farm, whilst the responsibility for transmitting the power ashore and connecting it to the power system lies with Energinet.dk, an independent public enterprise under the Ministry of Climate and Energy. 